there is a new loud scandal in Russian figure skating on the basis of the struggle of figure skaters with excess weight. The athlete of the Russian national team accused the coach of bullying and abuse. But in this case, it is not so much the cry of Lisa's soul that surprises, as the reaction to her revelations in the professional community. Like, what did you want, girl? And fans hear such heartwarming stories of figure skaters so often that they already seem to be tired of sympathizing with them. Elizaveta Nugumanova clearly declared herself at the junior level, she constantly flashed on the podium of the stages of the Cup of Russia and international competitions. And the real breakthrough happened in the 2020-21 season, Lisa took sixth place at the Russian Championship, losing only to Tutbridge's students and Sasha Trusova, who was training with Plushenko at that moment. It was the best hire of a figure skater in her career, even without Ultra C, she managed to overtake world champion Elizabeta Tiktamasheva. And according to the results of the tournament, Nugumanova became the third among adult athletes at all. Valiva, Yusachiva and Kramik, who were above Lisa, at that moment were performing at the junior level. The best performance of her career was a chance for Nugumanova to get to the main starts of the season. But the European Championship was cancelled that year, and her namesake Tiktamashiva was sent to the World Championship instead of Lisa, she performed better in the final of the Cup of Russia. Nugumanova harbored a grudge against a federation and dreamed of proving her worth in the Olympic season. But she failed to realize her plans. At two stages of the Cup of Russia, student of Genia Rukavitsina took 5th and 11th places, respectively, and did not qualify for the final. However, the figure skater herself is sure that she should have performed in the Cup final. The coaches had to send an application, I asked them to do it. But in the end I was just told, you didn't qualify. And I thought, well, how so? There are places, and in this case, anyone who skated at two stages of the cup can compete in the final. But the coaches didn't want to send me there, and I lost a chance to finish the season on a good note, Lisa told Match TV. According to Lisa, she had to prepare for the competition on her own. After the test runs, where Nugumanova was out of shape, she was banned from training with adult athletes, Lisa was forced to ride with the kids. And although Rukovitsin's staff, as the figure skater said, practically did not prepare her for the competition, the coaches did not miss the opportunity to humiliate or insult Nugumanova. I was often told in the team that I was fat, that nothing would work out for me. There were even such words, even in your social networks, soon no one will need you with your figure. As a result, I lost weight, of course, but you can't cross the line, Nugumanova lamented. The reaction to Elizabeth's revelations turned out to be ambiguous. Most experts and fans took the side of the coaching staff. Firstly, Rukovitsin has never been seen in harsh treatment of figure skaters. Secondly, monitoring the weight is a direct responsibility of singles and their coaches, without this it is impossible to count on any success. As a result, Nugumanova is bullied in social networks much more often than they regret. Now, at least several times a year, stories about the harassment of figure skaters due to excess weight come up. It's a pity for every heroine of such a scandal, but the toxicity and severity of figure skating have almost completely freed this sport from sentiment. This season, another scandal has thundered, Russian greenhouse Diana Mukometsyanova was kicked out of Nina Moser's group after she began to grow up. My partner Vlad Antonishev was given another girl, and I was told to lose weight and look for a partner myself. In fact, I was thrown out, and it was a shock. I stopped feeling needed. I felt that they put an end to me as an athlete, Mukometsyanova told Match TV. Another Russian figure skater, the Universiade champion in ice dancing Bettina Popova, admitted that offensive comments from coaches led to stress, insomnia and malnutrition. There was pressure. You need to lose weight, you need to lose weight, you need to lose weight, you're a fat cow, it's disgusting to look at you. And I'm a 12-year-old girl. Now I look at those photos and realize that it was completely absurd, Popova said sports.ru. But the loudest scandal was connected with the Olympic champion Yulia Lipnitskaya. Numerous fans of the athlete, who admired her technique and emotionality at the Sochi Olympics, did not even suspect 
that the figure skater suffered from serious health problems. After the Olympics, Lipnitskaya's coach Terry Tutbird said that Yulia had to eat a protein-carbohydrate mixture of squeezy to lose weight. As a result, the grueling struggle with extra pounds led to anorexia, the figure skater ended her career too early. It is clear that sport is always associated with strict restrictions and iron willpower. One can understand both Tatyana Tarasova and Renata Lashiva, who supported her coach Evgeny Rukovitsin in the situation with Nagumanova. And yet I want to enjoy the performances of the skaters without thinking about the fact that soon they will talk about the painful struggle with weight and bullying coaches.